Okay guys, this is a quick uh, tutorial on how to create an ebook cover. Um, uh, digital books are getting very popular. A lot of people are publishing their digital books to um, Amazon, the Kindle store. There are also other places like Smashwords that um, accept digital books. And you can make a lot of money from these books. Most people don't have any problems uh, writing the content for the books because they can follow formatting guides that are provided by Amazon or Smashwords, etc. But a lot of people um, don't know how to create the cover for the books. And depending on how sophisticated or beautiful or wonderful you want your book cover to be, um, you can outsource it. Get a professional graphic uh, graphic designer to design your um, ebook cover. You'll end up paying a lot of money for that, or you can create it yourself. Um, it depends on your book too. Um, some books don't require a fancy cover, but um, anyway, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to create a fairly basic ebook cover. So we start by selecting the image we want on the cover. So uh, I will click here in from I'm using Microsoft Word here, so I'll use insert picture and let me look through so I will look through some of my um picture files and I'll choose uh Apocalypse Man Large. So I'll click insert wait a moment and there we have what we hope will become our ebook cover. Anyway, the next step is to um, add the title of the book and the author of the book. So the top of the book is usually where people place the name of the book and the uh, author. So in order to do that, again, it's quite simple using Word here, we click insert, and what we want to do is to insert a text box, so we we'll click on text box here, and we'll get a list of options, let's just use the simple text box, so we'll click on that template, and Word will present you with the um, text box. They have put in some text themselves, we'll delete that, we want to put in our own text, so we'll call this... Apocalypse Man The Beginning. Imagine it's some kind of fantasy or science fiction. Um, and then, of course, uh, you can highlight that and change the uh, size and the font. So click on Home. Uh, first of all, we bold it. Second, you can um, go through with whatever fonts you think uh, w would look good. A lot of people, uh, a lot of people don't put a lot of thought into this, but uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, nice-looking fonts here, so uh, you can experiment around and choose whichever one you think looks nicest. So, which is that one that looks? Okay, let's see what it looks like when we make the font slightly larger. So let's say 26. Yeah, it doesn't really fit into the text. Let me stretch it to And let me center it. So. Yeah, you see, sometimes you will have problems. Um, formatting the title according to how you want it to appear. So let me choose another font family. Um, let's try Centaur. There you have it slightly better. Um, the main fact. The page right there. Yeah, so Apocalypse Man, the beginning. Um, and I may to down a little. 
So there you go. That there's our title. But and if I click outside, click enter, we have a problem here. The background of our text box is white, and the photo image is, as you can see, blue. So in order to overcome that problem, what we will do is we will click inside the text box, anywhere inside the text box, and then what we will do is um, we must remove the border around the text box and also the fill, that white fill in the background. So we click on Drawing Tools, which is this orange um, kind of heading at the top of the page, it's hard to miss it. Then you will go to Shape Fill, and you will click on No. Fill. And there you can see the white fill is gone, and you know it's a much more natural looking cover. And now we'll remove that black border, and we do that by clicking on Shape Outline. And again, we go down here and we click, we take the box for no outline. And there you go, there is or uh, or title Apocalypse Man the beginning um, and then of course you can decide to add the name of the author or something to do this down at the bottom so it's a similar process you would simply insert the text box uh, write in the name of the author down here and then you would do that process again up at uh, Open your click inside the text box, then you'll get a header up here for um, drawing tools, and you'll remove the outline and also the fill. So, there we have it. We have a nice cover for our book, but we're not finished the job yet, are we? Um, we must, first of all, we must save this file. Now, let's call it Apocalypse. Tutorial. And let's save that as type web page. Okay. And you save that file. And now there we have it in web form.